world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Last Epoch on my missus, Mistress of Decay. Now, I have been grinding out some equipment and stuff on my Stunninator build. And I do have a full loadout of equipment for this character, but we're not gonna see any, any of that. That's why I'm kinda just, this is stuff I've, I've put together, but I haven't earned it. This character still has to earn it. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna twink her. She still has to go through, she still has to earn it like all, you know, like everything else, but you know, I wish I found some. Oh, you can I brick boxes with it? No, I can't break any boxes, but I can sure make them fly around. The cool thing is I can uh, do the uh, wandering spirits and they can break boxes for me. Cool. All right, we didn't get too far in the last episode. Did I forget to get the, uh, I didn't get the, um, <laughs> I didn't get the waypoint. All right, let's go through the last archive real quick. I gotta get that waypoint. As soon as I hit the waypoint, we'll use the waypoint to jump out of there. I ran past it. I just didn't get close enough to it, I guess. Boy, do I feel stupid or what? Yeah, see, fortunately, it's a really quick one. That's right, so we're at the pinnacle. The precipice. Go, my minions. Attack. Fortunately, I can attack from a... And what's nice, I can actually summon my minions down there. Hey, you get down there and fight with them. Ah, my minions are going down too quickly. Let's get some more. Now I do need to buff my, if I'm gonna be using my uh, skeletons as kind of meat shields, they're gonna to have to get some buffs. I'm thinking of that, I just, I wanna make sure that I balance it where I'm using my, uh, my minions to do a lot of the work, but not all of the work. I still wanna be the major damage dealer. So it's gonna be hard to balance that, but I'm willing to try. It'd be, actually be nice. Uh, let's get some more up, because this guy can hurt. There we go. Oh, hello. All right, I've got three. I'm gonna come down, summoning in spirits. Let's get some now I am I am resummoning my pets. It only costs me some mana to do, but I'm trying to reposition them so that they're I always have a pet in a in a center of a group, either taking the aggro or reposition them to better serve my needs. You know, so what if they die? You know, sorry, but Lich doesn't care. All right, blood. It's going down to poison. Now, I do need to get an AOE effect going. Blood spatter. It doesn't spatter on the target. At six mana cost, hitting an enemy with rip blood causes blood to spatter out and hit nearby enemies, but not the target. So this is, it's guaranteed to splatter blood but it costs an additional six mana cost to do it. And this one is, it just gives a percentage chance. So you don't need both. I mean, if you take this one, it's stupid to take anything here. Cause I don't think they stack. I think they're separate. So I think nodes on this tree do not apply blood splatter unless stated otherwise. Okay, what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to poison stuff 
right? That's my whole idea. My whole my whole bent is to poison. But if I can cause splatter to happen and it spreads the blood, then it would be nice. So six times 17%. You know, if I put six points into it or six mana. You know what? I think six mana is actually worth it to get the blood splatter. So that's an area. Minions can be buffed. Ooh, stun chance. That's huge. I might go for that. Corrosive blood might be nice. Reduces necrotic damage. Uh, I'm not aiming for necrotic. I'm aiming more poison. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just trying to aim more poison. So this one definitely for the stun. Corrosive, meh. Crimson flood, yeah, I want that definitely spread. They need an effect for it, but I want it to spread so you can actually want it to go around. And I put more frequently having the spirits. I don't know if I want to fear right now. I'll see how the gameplay goes. Okay, more damage would be nice, but I want to keep going for infectious. And now I can take it. One more, one more level and I can take infectious. Now there's some enemies over here. There's another wing to this area that I, I often miss. Oh, nice. Now, like I said, I am definitely going to be using spirits, and I'm definitely going to keep summoning the, um, oh, the wraiths, because I like that ability. But this character, my, my idea for this character is most of the pets are going to be passive. I'll be doing most of the damage. I want, you know, I want to be able to wandering spirits, wraiths when I'm killing stuff, and that'll be... And I would love to get to the point where I don't even need summon skeletons. I, I don't know if I can get there completely, you know, with my gameplay style. Um, I know people have done it. I don't want to copy what other people have done. I don't know if I can make it work. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this place. This should be interesting. All right. Definitely get Ward up. Get the spirits going. Keep my Ward up. Definitely need that because there's a, uh, a mini boss at the end of all of this. Ooh, Shattering Stone. Nice. That's a nice grab. Now that will allow me to, uh, will allow me to rip off a, uh, some, uh, a skill or a, a shard that I find and use it. So I'm not opposed to using the stuff that I have. I just don't want to abuse all the stuff that I have because I literally could twink her and none of this would make it right now. I still need to be careful. This stuff can kill me. It's not a guarantee that I'm going to live. Let's get some shards out there. I forgot they pass through and hit, er, hit everything. So the enemies in a line are actually really good to use that on. Oh, oh that's something I need to check real quick. Hold on a second. Let me get some ward up. And can I cast this? Oh no, it doesn't use ward. I thought that would use ward first, but it doesn't. Okay. All right, let's get some ward up to protect me. Because this guy hits like a tank. Let's get a couple more skellies up. Not bad. I mean, it wasn't really hard, but I did need to keep an eye on what was going on on screen. So, wasn't easy, but... 
Yeah, I didn't see many. Uh, I was hoping to get a uh, the uh, wraiths to come popping up all over the place, but I didn't see very many. Now, there is an, a unique item. If I can get it to drop for this character, uh, it's a scythe. And when you kill enemies, there's a, a chance to summon a minion. So for the way I want to play this character, that's actually a really good necrotic damage. Uh, it's a really good uh, item for this character because it's passive summoning of of mobs or of minions. Go, my pretties, go! Man, I cannot wait for uh, certain skills to get uh, the tree treatment. It'd be awesome. Oh, yes. Word for days. Unfortunately, the more you take, the faster it burns. Resummon my skellies right around that. Makes it easier. The, uh... It'll target them instead of me, which is, of course, something I always want. There's a wing over here. I don't want to miss anything. Some wandering spirits out. I really love the wandering spirits because it's 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 passive. You just cast it and don't have to worry about what they're doing or what they're not doing. It's a low mana cost spell, but you don't have to control it. You don't have to aim it. It's, you know, fire and forget. All right, I need one of my minions over here at least. Keep forgetting I can tell them where to attack to and which mob I want them to attack. Oh, oh, that's right. I'll take care of this stuff down here. Get my minions to attack down there. That's perfect. Oh, one of these turrets. I actually had one of these turrets enraged the other day. It had the, you know, will periodically array, uh, enrage. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, attack that one. Cost some mana, but it's worth it to to reposition my uh, minions where I need them. All right, let's get the spirits going. Oh, he took down my minions really quick. Here, let's give him some blood. Let's rip some. Whoa! The file and get a little bit of ward going. Come on, you can die any day now. Thank you. I know. People are like, if you want your minions to survive, you need to spec into them. It will happen. It'll be later. Now, I'll probably spec into it temporarily and then back out of it. All right. So now my min, uh, my uh, wandering spirits can poison. I want to see what wandering spirits can. Ooh, not bad. Let's do all wandering spirits right now. Not too bad. All right, I've been picking up gear. I haven't been looking. Yeah, I'm stuck in that run animation. Uh, no. Minion health, fourteen health. You know what? I am tending to my minions a right a lot right now, so I'll do that. Vitality actually sounds good. Elemental protection and health. Yeah, I am a caster after all. Get rid of the stuff that's not useful to me at this point. Boy damn no, I like mine better. Health and dodge rate. I think I'll take the dodge. 
All right. Oh, no. Not bad. Might as well have the wandering spirits out. I think if you cast them and then move around the map, they spawn in. You're, you're spawning more in because you're uh, uncovering more in a given area. I think I saw the poison effect working. Wasn't sure if that was my poison effect or the wandering spirits poison effect, but I'll take it. Happy with it either way. Summon some minions in, get some more ward. Yeah, when Defile actually has a skill tree and can do more with it, that's going to be so nice. Oh, I saw the blood splatter there. Go right from the middle. Yep, I am seeing blood splatter. So it's costing a little bit more mana, but I think the 100% chance that it happens is actually worth it if I'm going to be using it as a primary damage dealer. If it was just a way to uh, ooh, 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 summon over there a little bit, get some wandering spirits out, let's pull back because they're ripping my skellies apart, but that's what they're there for. Like how far the spirits can go, they can really do some damage. What belt do I have on? I'll take that. Health with this character might be important. Having good health regen. Because one of the abilities I'm definitely going to be taking is going to be damaging me continuously. It's going to be poisoning me. Now, I have some shards I've saved up that help protect you from poison. And I'm hoping that that will work, but... There's no guarantee. All right. Grab some ward real quick. Because I knew there was something in here. It's going to take some chunks out of me. Come on. There we go. Only got one skelly. Summon a few more in. Ooh, another shattering stone nice i've gotten some a good amount of just shattering stones from just killing regular mobs that's nice i usually don't get that many come on die so i can get your ward thank you give me ward yeah it'd be nice to see if it if, if one of the skills on it be like it gives you ward and it gives you life. Or maybe you could change it so that it heals the mobs around that when you do that, that it heals your minions or something. That'd be a cool, or it buffs your minions. That'd be a cool idea. Uh, I forgot to leave chat. Just in case, you never know. Brass Amy. Caspi. What am I wearing right now? No, nope, what I'm wearing right now is so much better. Lower district. Incoming boss mob. Oh, I'm glad that he turned on the skeletons to, to cast that uh, attack. That was nice. Oh, uh, yes. Starting to see some more uh, poison effects, which is awesome. Yeah, don't miss the waypoint over here. It's off to the side. And if you don't run up at least somewhat near to it, uh, you won't be able to come back here if you want to farm the boss. Minions! They left me all alone. They went to, to do their own things. Ah, see that, that AoE damage from Blood Splatter? That's why it's so important.
Uh, the wraiths are doing some good damage too. That's nice to see. Nothing worth picking up. Oh, oh, blood. Um. So an even more chance to poison with rip blood. So I'm glad I took that, and taking this one makes it even better. Noise. Hopefully I'll be bleeding them and poison them even more now. And as long as my splatter works too, that's just extra. Ooh, that's right, another point. Um, Five for five. Now I can do Soul Feast. But to use Soul Feast, you have to uh, mark them for death and then you can do necrotic damage. And then it gives you back Soul Fragment, which grants five ward when they reach you. Instead of Defile, I could do that, but then I have to bring back... Um, I'm really not using the Marrow Shards very much. I could... Let's see, cost. It's 10. That's 11. Put Hungering... Because Hungering's got a... A skill tree. That's why I'm looking at that. Let's look at the tree. What do I want to do? Uh, calls forth two additional souls per point. Oh, that's hungering souls. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't specialize. That's why. But I want to look at the tree at least. I can look at the tree, right? Soul Feast. No, Soul Feast doesn't have... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm an idiot. I already have Hunger. Hungering Souls. Okay. I've got Wandering Spirits. Hungering Souls is that other one. So... Okay. Calls forth seven Hungering Souls that seek out enemies on hit. They deal necrotic damage and then possess the target. And then possesses. Possess enemies take necrotic damage over time for two seconds. Enemies can't be possessed multiple times. But I want to try Soul Feast out. But it doesn't have a... I'll try it. It'll be cool. But it's more of a spam ability. I already have a spam ability. And it actually has a skill tree. So I'm kind of torn. I'm ripped and torn. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I can mark him for death and then oh, move real quick so I don't get and then try this ability out and it's giving me ward costs a lot of mana though oh let's get some more minions up that those three skellies actually did pretty good against him let's mark him for death and I'm going negative mana now so it's it's a big mana drain. I think the way I was playing earlier was actually better. Let's get another skelly out to protect me. Let's mark for death at least so that... Yeah, that actually... Yeah, that is a too much spammy. I was spamming way too much there. All right, anything worth it? Nah, not really. I already have good base weapons so far. Um, all three gen. I think the minion health is a little bit. Ooh. Yes, please. Yeah, if I have to be honest, I don't think I like that combination. It would be basically replacing my Rip Blood, but Rip Blood has a whole, a whole thing about it. Hungering Souls can be really powerful. I think I'll, I think I'll put Hungering Souls here, but I'll keep Marked for Death because it does uh, give them thirty percent increased damage for eight seconds, which means even my poisoning and my uh, 
all the other stuff, I kind of like necrotic damage I, I have taking on them uh, should actually work. And there's a, so this is another spam ability, which would actually, or, or could replace a uh, rip blood. So many spammies. I'm not sure which one is better. Oh, uh, look at all, look at that now. See, now I'm getting some, uh, uh, some wraith spawning and a good amount of wraith. That's nice. All right, so let's try this ability just as, as the basic ability without any points in it. It is spammable. It can search out. It might actually be better than Rift Blood. I'll have to look into the skill tree to see if it fits my build, though. Yeah, so it's already searching out enemies. It's spinning around and attacking. That's nice. Plus, I love the sound effect for it. But I like the idea of ripped blood, though. It's like, you know, kind of like get over here, but it, all I want is your blood, which is just messed up. Let me look at it real quick. Uh, hungering souls. This is where that search function would, would help. Okay, so there is poison in it. So I could go poison with that and drop my rip blood. Twenty percent damage on hit per point if you currently control a minion. For each minion you control. So that's more minion based. The more minions you have up, the more skellies you have summoned. No, nah, not isolation. Oh, piercing gaze, though. Um, no, nah, I like the spread and the seeking of it. It's kind of cool. And you can narrow it down to be more of a shotgun blast, too. Up to 60% narrower. Ooh. Like the idea about poisoning. You deal 14% increased damage over time per point for five seconds when you cast. Oh, this buffs all of my damage over time. Poison, necrotic. Any any damage over time can get buffed if I've cast Hungering Souls and then infect somebody. So 20% increased poison per point. Chance to poison. Subtracts one from mana cost per point. 5% additional chance to poison per cast. Well, that's just, that's an awesome one. Yeah, that just takes the mana cost away. Well, within reason, an additional more chance to poison. It's going to cost a lot, though. A chance to call six additional spirits. Nice. This can increase the angle of the cone, so it spreads even more. Calls forth two additional souls per point, adds two mana cost per point. Reaper's Gaze. Hits instantly. Kill enemies that are below health threshold 5% of the maximum, and then it'll go up. If you have a similar effect from an item, or mastery no, then the highest threshold is used. And add necrotic damage. Ten percent chance to cast hungering souls when hit. Vengeful souls. Okay, so it doesn't crit anymore, which it can do normally. But if you take damage, if you get hit, it just cat it has a chance to just cast it. I wonder if that's a free cast.
you can no longer cast Hungry Souls ma uh, manually. 150% increased damage on hit. So it's then it's all retaliation. Now you're trying to make yourself like a uh, a retaliatory tank of, of some sort. It makes it okay. So I'm gonna. I think I'll go poison, and then the node that better chance to poison and saves mana. And I like the idea of increasing the number of souls that I can actually call forth and how far they can go. Uh, I'm not sure which way I want to go with that. <laughs> well, I know I'm like sitting here wasting time, but I wanted to look at those and at least let you guys know why I'd be going one way or the other. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go yet, but I'm now intrigued. It's interesting. I might actually go have to go for Hungering Souls. I think that would be, it probably would be better than Blood Spatter. I was just starting to enjoy blood spatter though. So I have, now I really have to think about it. Maybe I could blood spatter or rip blood, get the blood splatter and then do hungering souls. My, I don't know if having just that one ability I only cast once per group or something would be worth it, but it's an idea. But that's my time for today. I have been critical. This has been last epoch on my mistress of decay build. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.